Hi, welcome to Therm Science. Today's topic is about gas turbine with intercooler. People used to say that intercooler is a device which used to increase the efficiency of pattern cycle or a gas turbine engine. But how many of you know that it is wrong? Then what intercooler does in gas turbine? In intercooler, I have planned three lectures. At the end of the third lecture, you will come to know what actually intercooler does in gas turbine. Now let's discuss the working of gas turbine with intercooler and how to draw PV and PS diagram. Also, we will discuss how to derive efficiency expression of gas turbine with intercooler. Now let's start the working of gas turbine with intercooler. In gas turbine, the compressor sucks air from the atmosphere through air filter in which dust particles are removed. In compressor, air is compressed from low pressure to high pressure. If pressure increases, temperature also get increases. After that, the air passes to the intercooler in which the temperature of air is removed. Why we need to remove the temperature of air? We know that temperature and specific volume are directly proportional. If temperature increases, specific volume also increases. Which result in work consumed by the compressor will be high. So that we are removing the temperature of air. If the outlet temperature of intercooler is equal to inlet temperature of compressor that is ambient temperature this intercooler is called as perfect intercooler otherwise it is imperfect intercooler after that the air passes through high pressure compressor where the air is further compressed to a required pressure after that the air passes through combustion chamber at the entry of combustion chamber fuel injectors are placed where the injected fuel and create turbulence due to this turbulence Air and fuel is mixed thoroughly and ignited with a spark from a spark plug where the air gets high enthalpy which means high energy. The high energy air enters to the turbine where it impulses the turbine blade that rotates shaft to produce shaft power output. After that the combustion products are expelled to the atmosphere if it is open system. We can generate power by coupling generator to the output shaft. Initially the compressor runs with help of battery. Later on the compressor consumes the power from the turbine. Whatever power produced by the turbine that will be consumed by the compressor maximum 70 to 75 percentage. Now we will discuss how to draw PV and PS plot. We know that gas turbine with intercooler consists of five major components that are low pressure compressor, intercooler, high pressure compressor, combustion chamber and turbine. First we will see low pressure compressor. In low pressure compressor, air is compressed isentropically where pressure and temperature increased. But entropy remains constant. After that, it passes to the intercooler where we remove the temperature of air. Since it is open system, it maintains constant pressure. That's why we call constant pressure heat rejection in intercooler. Then it passes to the high pressure compressor where the air is further compressed isentropically in which pressure and temperature is increased but entropy remains constant. After that the air passes to the combustion chamber where we add fuel we increase the temperature of air at constant pressure. It maintains constant pressure due to it operates as an open system. That's why we call quantum pressure heat addition in combustion chamber. After that, it passes through the turbine in which the air is expanded, where the pressure and temperature drop is there. So 5 to 6 isentropic expansion in turbine. And 6 to 1 we call constant pressure heat rejection due to atmosphere. So we have 1 to 2 isentropic compression in low pressure compressor, 2 to 3 constant constant pressure heat rejection in intercooler 3 to 4 isentropic compression in hb compressor and 4 to 5 constant pressure heat addition in combustion chamber and 5 to 6 we have isentropic expansion in turbine 6 to 1 constant pressure heat rejection now we will discuss what the difference between with intercooler and without intercooler we know that this is a w net with intercooler of the gas turbine in case if it is without intercooler, how it will be? You can see the area 1756 is the work W net, W net without intercooler. 
this is a double net with intercooler so under the pv diagram you can see the double net is increased due to the intercooler how it increased by reducing the compressor work input so this is the area of compressor work without intercooler this is the work given to the compressor with intercooler now let's start ph diagram we know that isentropy compression we have where entropy is constant temperature is increased then constant pressure heat rejection temperature entropy drop is there 3 to 4 again isentropic compression where entropy is constant temperature is increased 4 to 5 we are adding the heat constant pressure heat addition pressure is constant temperature and entropy is increased due to heat addition 5 to 6 isentropic expansion in turbine where entropy is constant and temperature drop is there and again 6 to 1 constant pressure heat rejection where entropy drop is there compression drop is there but pressure is maintained as constant now we will discuss how to derive the efficiency of gas turbine with intercooler we know that compressor intercooler hp compressor combustion chamber and turbine are open system so implement steady flow energy equation to derive the work input or heat input heat rejection or work output whatever it may be we need to implement steady flow energy equation here the compressor is placed between 1 and 2 intercooler is placed between 2 and 3 hp compressor is placed between 3 and 4 combustion chamber is placed between 4 and 5 turbine is placed between 5 and 6 we know that compressor is a work consuming device where we need to find out w since it is isentropic compression where the q is equal to Zero. To find out W, we know that Cp T2 minus I1. The answer will be positive. We need to find, write the work consumed by the compressor is this much. Then we have HP compressor. It also isentropic compression where Q is equal to zero. To find out W C2. So this is W C1. This is W C2. Cp T4 minus T3. This is also work consuming device. Next combustion chamber. We need to find out the amount of heat given to the combustion chamber. That is, Qs is equal to Cp T5 minus T4 because T5 enthalpy will be higher. So T5 minus T4. Next turbine. Turbine is a work producing device in which we need to find out W T. So W T is equal to Cp T5 minus T6. So inlet enthalpy of turbine will be maximum compared to the outlet. now let's see what is the total compressor work that is wc1 c indicates compressor plus wc2 then what about net work done net work done is nothing but work produced minus work consumed that is wt minus wc w net is equal to wt minus wc now we need to find out efficiency that is output divided by input what is output w net is your output what is the input only heat added in the combustion chamber that is wt minus wc divided by qs in this lecture we will discuss what is the effect of intercooler if it is perfect intercooler or imperfect intercooler in the gas turbine so like this video like share and subscribe thank you